Topic to you today is expect an increase. Expect an increase. All right. If you expect it, it shall be unto you. Expectation comes with the accompanying of our senses. Praise the name of the Lord. We have to put in action our eyes, the sight, sense of smell, something to identify with what we look for. Praise the name of the Lord. So we expect. Somebody said, if you believe it, you shall receive it. Praise the name of the Lord. So we expect an increase. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Expect an increase. From the main text today, Jesus makes some very mystifying word. Mystifying in the sense that what he said could not be understood by his hearers. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And he said, verse 24, except Very, very I said to you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. No, dearly beloved, it is always from his teaching that he uses illustration that was natural for his audience to understand. Like in the book of Matthew, which was primarily addressed to the Jews, he would have used symbols or, or references that they used to vines and, 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 and seeds and so forth. Praise the name of the Lord. But here we are looking at something which have a spiritual inclination. Praise the name of the Lord. The very essence of what he spoke was divine. But he uses the natural thing to bring about what the spiritual thing would be. Most of us, we are from the country that which is, uh, we call it, uh, climatically, it is used to, to, to bring fruits and crops and so on. Praise the name of the Lord. So we understand the context and we can identify with the fruit that Jesus is using here. We look at corn, and I believe when we look at grain, corn is one of the most uh, potential grain you can think of. When you think of peas, you, you put a peas, a uh, green of pea in the ground, uh, it, is, it does not bring forth as much grain as the corn does. I don't know if you agree with me on that. Oh, bless his name. But when you put, as Jesus said, a, a corn in the ground, praise the name of the Lord, it had to go through a process. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. You see, it is God who is in control of both the natural and the spiritual. He formed the earth. He made the oceans. So he knows what is going on in Mother Earth. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. So when the corn in the natural sense is sown in the ground, it goes through a process what is called germination. This is what the text is saying. If it doesn't die, it's abided. So therefore, beloved, when we look at it in a natural sense, if the ground is too dry, I want to be as a farmer in the house. If the ground is too dry, then there's no moisture for it to really burst out of what it is in to come out to a new life. Oh, blessed be God. Yes, yes, yes. 
So they have to be moisture on the ground. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So after many days, we will realize that there comes a sign of life because the process of death was successful. Praise the name of the Lord. And we watch that corn grow uh, through the stages and it's molded and it is watered by the rain from heaven. Oh, bless be God. And soon after we see probably three years of corn. Praise God. And that one stalk. And if we strip it off, we can probably count maybe 500 grains from that one grain. What are we talking about? Expect an increase. So we saw one grain and there is an increase of hundreds of grain. Yes, yes, yes. Praise the name of the Lord. So we look at the natural. Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, saw us in a very helpless state. Praise the name of the Lord. And this is why, beloved, redemption Redemption was no the, the, the theme of humanity. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Redemption was the whole source of man's hope. So the Bible tells us that Isaiah prophesied. For unto us a son is given. A child is born and a son is given. Amen. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. So even before he makes this statement in, in St. John chapter 12, there was prophecy long time ahead before he came. In fact, Genesis 3 verse 15 says, The seed of the woman shall bruise the serpent head. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. So we see Jesus. As Isaiah looked at him coming, he saw him in chapter 9 and verse 6. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And he did not run away, but he stayed on a little bit longer. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And he ran over into chapter 53 and tells us, Oh, who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And he ran down and tells us exactly what is happening. For he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Oh, praise God. And over in chapter 63, he looks again while he was lying for three months as a public spectacle in the eyes of Israel. He saw him coming from Edom with dyed colors. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. He was coming to make an increase. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Because we were hopeless. Oh, God. Because man sinned, man was plunged into destruction and hopelessness. The Bible tells us, oh praise God, that the first man, Adam, oh praise God, was made from the earth, earthy, oh praise God. But here comes the second Adam, oh hallelujah, which is the Lord of glory, oh blessed be the name of the Lord, hallelujah. So we see him coming, oh praise God, Jesus Christ came as a second Adam. Because this first Adam messed up everything. Oh, praise God. And caused us to lose contact of Jesus. Oh, praise God. So the second Adam came. Oh, praise God. Of the Lord of glory. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. So we see him coming. Oh, praise God. As a second Adam. The first Adam, the Bible says, was of the earth. Earth. So he bore the image of the earthly. Oh, praise God. To him, he brings death to mankind. 
The Bible says through one man all were made sinners. Oh, hallelujah. Through one man all were made dead in trespasses and in sins. Oh, praise God. Through the first Adam, we were all made dead. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. But here comes the second Adam. Oh, praise the name of the Lord, which is the Lord of glory. Hallelujah. He came with a purpose. He came with a plan to bring about an increase. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. He came to bring about a change to humanity. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. But unless there is an increase, oh, praise God, we would have all died without hope. So he came. The Bible says he was robed in flesh. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. He took upon himself humanity. He becomes the son of man that we could become the sons of God. Here comes the increase. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. So he became the son of man that he could have put on flesh. Hallelujah. Because he was in flesh, he could be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. Because he was in flesh, he was wounded for our transgression. Because he was in flesh, he was able to shed his own blood. Hallelujah. Somebody saw him marching, going up to Golgotha's hill with a cross on his back. You and I was on his mind. He was going up to make an ultimate sacrifice to redeem us. To redeem us. Come on, somebody. Expect an increase. So we look at the natural and now we're looking at the spiritual aspect of what Jesus inferred in the scripture. Oh, hallelujah. When he said in the scripture, except a corn of wheat falls into the ground and die, it abided alone. He knows what he was talking about. This was Jesus himself who should have gone into the ark of the earth. Hallelujah. His body should have laid in the grave. Oh, hallelujah. After he was crucified, after they marched him to God, God was healed. Hallelujah. And they nailed him in his hands. He should have gone in the sepulchre. Hallelujah. Somebody says they crucified him. Oh, glory to God. They lay him in a modern tomb. Hallelujah. But the Bible says he lay there for one day. Somebody thought that death, oh, praise the name of the Lord, got another victim. But no, no, no. He came to give us an increase. So death could not hold him. Neither the sin of death could have victory over him. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. The first Adam succumbed to the sting of death. Oh, praise be to God. But the second Adam, oh, hallelujah. The second Adam was laid in the grave. Three days. Oh, hallelujah. The Bible says no death could withhold him there. Hallelujah. The worms tried to gather. The millipedes, the centipedes was ready to feed upon his flesh. But Jesus, the Son of God, Jesus, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Jesus, the wine bitter, all praise the Lord. Jesus, the exalted God. Jesus, the great I am that I am. Jesus, the King of Kings.